I'm in the house at the moment. I came in through the back entrance. Guys, how gorgeous is this kitchen? This is the dining area. And then this is the living room. When I saw this room, I was like, hmm, this will make a wonderful studio. to figure out this whole subsidy ish because a lot of people are going through a lot like how much are you guys buying well in your area so right here they're selling 537 so if you're gonna buy 20 liters you have to buy at least 10 k this thing moves like what difference it does to my tank because I just picked up my license um, you guys can see um, and then I made <laughs> photocopies so um, I don't even know where I learned this from but my, my parents I guess whenever you do like oh, shit, I forgot something so I have to go into the old one and pull out my driver's license as well as all of my other particulars and then I fix it to this photocopy of the new one so that when they stop you on the road and you don't even need to ask answer anybody anything just say oh yoga take everything you know um so now I am headed to Utaku to pick up my stamps actually it's so hot anyway yeah let's head to ABC I just picked up my parcel so now I want to head to the house but I saw this Jabi Lake on my way here. I've been wanting to go to the Jabi Lake and I remember them um, telling my friend and she was like, ah, the water is now dirty, it's not the way it used to be and I was just like, well, it would still be nice to go see it and it seems like it's not far from here. So if I put in the maps, um, perhaps I'll just stroll by and see what is up with the lake. Yeah, so let's see. Jabi Lake. Let me see if it's not far. I'm gonna go there. It's like 1.8 kilometers, literally eight minutes away. So give or take 10 minutes away. All right, let's go and see what what it's all about. Okay. actually been to this part of Abuja before. I like the greenery and the serenity of the environment. I can only imagine jogging down this road um, during the day, like early in the morning or like in the evening um, as the sun is setting.
inside of the mall is actually bigger than i originally anticipated there's lots of shops that you can buy things from um, i noticed that there's a vento at the extreme end of the mall outside the mall towards the lake area you have a ton of restaurants that i couldn't really photograph or record because i was only given permission to take pictures of the lake um but you can sit down in front of the lake and just listen to you know the, the sound um taking the sights of the environment and things like that and um, there are also a lot of shops um along the walkway where you can you know grab a quick snack drink have your meetings or just you know um, have that chill time with friends. So, just leaving the mall. My hair is all over the place as well. Mm. But we're still hot, yeah. Summer, summer. That's like a million hours later. I'm in the house at the moment. I came in through the back entrance. I don't know why my guys how gorgeous is this kitchen this kitchen is so gorgeous so a little background story right the owner was resident in abuja for a while that's my stuff just don't bother with that um but they relocated now and they want me to kind of finish up with the work in the house and then and lease out the premises so yeah this is what the kitchen looks like got um cabinets like you know, that's the kitchen guys. Let me take you to the parlor. I don't know if you guys can pick the store right there. Anyways, once you get out of the kitchen, that's the kitchen I just showed you guys. This is the dining area, um, right? And then this is the living room. It's quite spacious too. So there is also a guest toilet um, right here, I don't know if you guys can see. It's tiled all the way to the top, which is what I like. Um, so yeah, that is the living room, hello slash dining room. So that's the staircase that leads to the upstairs. But downstairs, there are two rooms. Let me just show you guys. Um, and sweet as well. So this is bedroom number one. Um, and sweet. So that is the toilet. And this is bedroom number two. So I don't know if you guys remember. Bedroom number one downstairs. Clean right here. Bedroom number two. There's a little passage here as well connecting both. So I mean, if this is your master bedroom, I'm just saying, and this is your wife's bedroom, you just have this always locked. You choose to stay downstairs anyway. Yeah, I like this design. It's kind of like his and hers. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. a virgin house it's not been lived in so you know i need to tidy this up a little bit eventually but once you get upstairs there's like a little balcony oops so bright hold on right so there's a little balcony right here i don't know if you guys can see and then you see the view from here Pretty decent view. So this is bedroom number three. Pretty decent size. Um, this one is in terms of sweet box. You have your own private bathroom here. Yeah. And this is the long room. I don't know if you guys can tell how long this room is. So the room is quite long. When I saw this room, I was like, hmm, this will make the wonderful studio, at least for me anyway. I can just imagine having my setup here, having a little desk here. I will use that the room, like just next to this one as a bedroom. And this one will be like my office slash panel slash studio slash work area slash brainstorming area. I have my team here. 
you know, that sort of thing. Or I have this as a closet, it just depends on what you're doing for. that's the end of the house door that's the end of this video if you enjoyed it please give me a massive thumbs up i honestly can't wait to flip this house and i'm excited to actually show you guys the end results once i am done but if you enjoyed this video please give me a massive thumbs up also if it's your first time here do not leave without hitting on that subscribe button down below um yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video